back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a little get ready with me for a job interview. So I've actually got two two things going on today that is like important, but mainly for the job interview um, is why I'm gonna get ready. I also have an orientation for school this morning, and then my job interview is later today. But I wanted to film this with you guys this morning because this is what I'm gonna be getting ready, doing my makeup, and putting on the outfit for today which I feel like is pretty good because I feel like I don't want to dress crazy professional for where I'm working and I want to dress pretty good though. So I'll show you guys that outfit later and it matches my nails because got, we got them done and they're blue now. If you, you probably didn't know that because I haven't posted about my nails in a bit. I think you might have saw them. Oh no, no. I got them done after my Tesla video. After my last video, I got my nails done and they're blue now. So that, that is that update. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, moisturized, all that jazz. Um, I'm gonna just do my, get my handy dandy headband. And we're, we're gonna put it on. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna try to explain my makeup routine for today. Um, it's gonna be fairly the same, but because of the sake of the video, I wanted to kind of explain what I'm gonna do out with you guys. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I have kind of switched it up a little bit. I'm not gonna be using a beauty blender today. I know, crazy. I always use the same pink beauty blender. Um, I don't know, but I feel like I've been really loving. Um, I started using this, I got it in Vegas when I went, um, when I was filming the Tesla video, I got this little um, brush for foundation. And I honestly loved the way it turned out. And if I need to, I can like use the beauty blender to touch up a little bit, but I kind of loved the way that this turned out. And it felt very light and fluffy, so I'm gonna use this. And the foundation I'm gonna use is the one I've been using for a while now. Um, but it's just, if you haven't seen any of the other videos with my makeup routine in it, but I'm gonna be using the Photo Ready Candid by Revlon. Um, my shade is 240, I don't know. I really like it. I feel like it just looks very well. It looks good and it's like a more of a heavier foundation but it still like feels light on my skin because I have such a problem with if it's heavy and stuff it looks really bad but yeah. So I'm going to put some music over this while I do this part and I'll talk to you guys in a second. <laughs> So now that I've done my foundation, um, I, as you can see, it feels pretty good, pretty light. Um, I did end up grabbing my beauty blender and blending it out a little bit better. I feel like the water in the like beauty blender and stuff, like the way that it is, just kind of lets it soak into my skin a little bit better. So I did that. I used those two things. Um, next, I'm going to do is I usually, what I usually do at least, is I do my powder stuff. Um, so I do my highlight, blush, and... What's it called? Bronzer. So I will do those now. I use the same couple things. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I really use the same couple things. So today, I feel like I want to do, be a little different. You know, I want to be a little different. I'm going to use a different blush or one different blush and a different highlight that I haven't used in a while just because I feel like why not, you know? So, I'm going to use the same bronzer I've been always been using. It's the Wet n Wild bronzer. Pretty simple. And then I'm going to be using the Glossy Glossier um, Cloud Paint in shade Puff. I really like this. I just don't use it that often. And I don't know why because I honestly could just order a new one if I run out. So, I don't know why. I should, I should really should not be scared about using it. But, yeah. And I really need to get a new one of these but because I'm like literally running out. But I'm going to keep using this dandelion blush to go over top because I feel like it just kind of like sets it and adds a little extra color to my blushes area. And then for highlight, I'm just going to be using this milk makeup highlight. But I think you can use it for like your eyeshadow too, but it's just like the little purple one. Or they have the bigger version, but I just use the little one because I feel like it just works really well. Um... Or not just because that's not why I got it as little, but it was cheaper if it was little. Anyway, we're going to do that. I'm going to do that, and I will see you guys when I'm done. Here's the blush with just the cloud paint. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest, this doesn't do much, so I usually layer it with other things, but I really like this one. Um, there we go. It's probably broken in pieces. How did this H get over here? Like, this H belongs over on my board that's over there, and I just, I don't know how that happened. But, anyway, so that's how it looks. I can't decide if I wanna, I'll probably still do a little bit of the, this one, the powder one. Just to kind of set it and add a little extra color, you know, like I said. But that's just how it looks. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, BRB. Okay, so I did the second layer blush and some highlight. I did my highlight in my Cupid's bow. And just like, you know, the highlight zones. Um, I'm not the best at highlight, so I hope that it looks okay. If not, that sucks. But now I want to do my eyeshadow. So what I'm thinking is something very simple, very cute and simple. So because I want to be cute and simple, I'm just going to be using my White Peach Palette. I know that's like nothing new. And trust me, prom I promise you, like I'm working on doing like fun new makeup videos where I do like big makeup looks with my new palette, which is colorful and fun. But for right now, because I'm going to a job interview and I'm just doing like daily, like, you know, errands type stuff i'm just gonna put on a normal makeup look today i'm probably just gonna be doing the same thing that i usually do to be honest with you i'm sorry that it's gonna be boring but i'm just gonna be using peach smoothie and peach suede so i think it um, i can't tell because it's backwards oh it's this one and this one up here if that makes sense okay let's get to it <laughs> Okay, so I did my eyeshadow, very simple, very simple. And then I don't know how well that worked, but I ended up using my e.l.f. highlight and just using this little thingamajig, the little one, the little version. Yeah, I just put that in my little crease thing, right here, my, what's it called, inner corner with that. So I hope that looks good because I feel like it looks good in person, but I don't know if it really did anything, so I don't know. Um, but next up, I'm just going to do... My eyebrows, which really isn't anything, I'm just going to be using an old mascara wand. I know that's weird, but I'm using an old mascara wand for my eyebrows. And then I'm going to be using this um, brow grooming like stick thing. I don't know. My mom gave this to me like forever ago, but you can't, it's just kind of like a sticky pencil and you just put it on your brow and it like holds it in place. And then I kind of just comb it to shape it a little bit. Because I ran out of brow gel, which I need to go get a new brow gel. Actually, I really need to go get my eyebrows done, period. But I can't really do that. Anyway, that's what we're... Anyway, that's what we're going to do really quick. I'm going to see you guys in a minute. Okay, bye. All done. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just my lashes. I'm pretty sure my lashes are the last thing I have to do. I have two different mascaras that are the exact same, and I don't know which one was the one that is new and which one was the one that's not new. So I'll probably be using a little bit of both of these, but they're the exact same one, and they're just the the Rocket Volume Express Waterproof from Maybelline. Um, yeah. And then I just have a little lash curler. Um, yeah, because I'm not going to do eyeliner. Like, who am I kidding? Like, I could not even do eyeliner ever. In my entire life so let's go ahead and get this done and then we will move on to my hair and my outfit okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie so i finished my makeup i did also do i also used the rosebomb.com from glossier this one um i used that on my lips um, that's what I usually use. I just feel like it looks good and natural. So, we're going to take out my headband and brush out my hair and figure out what we're going to do for my hair. Because, yeah. So, my outfit, let's think about that. Maybe in correlates of my hair. Okay, so I'm wearing um, some blue pants. Some blue, like, plaid pants from Brandy Melville. And then my top is also from Brandy Melville. It's just a gray crop, crop, crop. It's a gray tank top with like a little slit right here. Super cute though. Doesn't show any cleavage much on me because it's like kind of a large top to be honest with you. Um, but what's it called? 
so it's, yeah it's not gonna be like crop i don't want to like show a bunch of like show that i'm like we i don't know i don't want to show a bunch of cleavage or stomach or anything i want to be professional so that's what i'm gonna do there um but i'm gonna wear this out for the rest of the day and i want it to be cute too because i'm like might be going to the mall later and like orientation so i want it to be like cute um even though actually i'm the only one in my orientation so i don't know nobody's really gonna see me much but at least, at least I don't think, but I want to be cute, you know, I want to be cute, I just want to be cute, um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to vlog today, actually, so if you guys want to check out my vlog channel, I'll link, that link is always linked in the description, so if you guys want to go subscribe to my vlog channel, you can do that, and you guys can make sure that you guys watch this, today's vlog, um, I'm not sure what I'll name the vlog yet, but I'll put it up in the screen, so you guys can see that, but this, it will be coming around, out around the same time, I just, you know, needed a main channel video, and I also kind of want to vlog today, because I feel like that'd be fun. Um, let's do this, shall we? <gasps> ah! She's so scary. I don't like it. Okay, I don't know what I want to do with my hair. I think I'm going to put on my outfit first, and then decide what to do with my hair. I also need to wash my hands, because they feel, like, gross every time I, walk, like, do my makeup. So, bear be. Okay, so here's my outfit. Yeah, as I said, it was just, like, this tank top. So, yeah, it's just this tank top and these... Pants, these pants off pockets, which sucks. And they were so long for me that I had to get them like tailored from my cousin. So there's that. Hi, Mama. Here's her vitamins. Thank you. Um, don't forget to take your ride when you kids. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. Okay. I got these little hair ties. I got a big pack of them because I know I've been telling you guys for like ever. That I stole these from my friend. I got a large ass pack of them. So I've got all of these. Plus like more. Somewhere. And then I've got like a bunch more in this drawer too. So I've got a lot of them. Um. So basically I usually just go for two of these. And figure out if I want to do like. Half enough buns or pigtails. Pigtails I feel like would be really cute with this. With this outfit. So. I think what we're going to do honestly is just the pigtails. I feel like that would be really cute. So, let me just speed through that real quick. Okay, I don't know, they look a little uneven. But honestly, I think it's fine. If it's a little uneven, I think it's okay. So, it just looks like that. I feel like, honestly, pretty cute. Pretty cute. Pretty cute, if I do say so myself. Um, I do look like a little child, but... I feel like it's pretty, like a cute little look. I don't know if I like it. Let's ask my mother. What does she think? What? Um, what do you think of my hair and the outfit? Uh, like, it does it work amazing. good for both orientation and my interview? Yes, and I think it's gonna be good for your pictures, right? We're probably doing pictures. No, we're not. Oh, okay, okay. No, we're not. Okie dokie. Okay, so it looks good for both. I'm gonna go ahead and just end off this video now so I can start my vlog and you guys can see like what I'm doing throughout this entire day. Make sure that you guys go check out my vlog channel because don't you guys wanna see what I'm doing today? Like that's crazy. Um, but yeah, so do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Um What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, comment anything you want, honestly. Um I will probably, if I get this job, I'll tell you guys about the job and what I'm doing and stuff like that. But right now, I'm not going to tell you because that's a lot for me because it's a lot of pressure. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys what I'm going to be wearing and what I did to my job interview. So yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. You know, the drill. Um, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or whenever you're watching this. 